thanks again to a friend, got to watch it. This very interesting Malayalam movie, See You Soon. Mahesh Narayanan gives you a film that lasts some hour and 32 minutes, so less than 100 minutes. Very, very tightly scripted. I think full marks to Mahesh Narayanan for editing his story. It is normally believed that when a director edits his film, he tends to go overboard because he loves what he has scanned and does not want it to be kept away from the viewer. It is nice seeing a director who understands that his job as an editor is to filter what is not relevant to the tale that he wants to tell. While ideally, a director-editor is a wonderful combination. My belief and experience of my observation has been that director-editors tend to make a bad job because of their love for what they as, as a director have done and shot and do not want it excluded. I have also believed that given the relationship between Raj Kapoor and Rishikesh Mukherjee, if Rishikesh Mukherjee had edited Mera Naam Joker, the masterpiece would have really been a much greater magnum opus of Raj Kapoor. Back to this film, See You Soon. It's a short film in Malayalam, as I said, one hour and 38 minutes. And uh, before I also deal with the film, I'd like Anurag Kashyap and Rajesh Tushman, who did choked and loot case recently. Within a constricted space, you can tell a story without sounding claustrophobic. You can tell a story within a window, from a single window, Remember Rare Window by Alfred Hitchcock. You don't have to make it so crowded and so abysmally gray or black while your story can be black or gray. See You Soon has Jimmy Kurian, a happy-go-lucky guy, runs into Anumol, Sebastian, probably on a dating app, on social media, and they quick messages to one another lands them in a relationship. But just around the time when they are to get married, there's a twist in fate. Also, every time that Jimmy wants to meet Anumol, she refuses to meet him at their house. She is shown as somebody, as one who is suffering, who is a victim of domestic violence, till it is revealed later in the story. But she's a victim of flesh trade. She's a victim of immoral trafficking. And the film deals with, at the another level, from just the romance that's on between Jimmy and Anmol to the crime. Interestingly, what happens is a uh, due diligence before the marriage is done by Jimmy's cousin Kevin who is the mainstay and the narrator of the film. And Kevin researches and finds out that his research, green signaling Anumol as an ideal life partner to Jimmy was wanting, terribly wanting, and had gone awry. This is the story. Two very interesting things needs to be said about the film. 
circa 1990, I would uh, remember Govindalani chose a unique grammar for his Shekhar Kapoor Dimple Kapadia film, Drishti. It's the most conversational Hindi film that you can see. There is a similarity in style with this film because See You Soon is completely based on a conversational style. And interestingly, the conversation is often on social media, maybe WhatsApp. And most of what is happening as dialogues is what is stated on a parallel, in the, on the screen, in a parallel between the characters. Now, this is unique grammar. This is the style tried out for the first time. Works wonderfully and is very imaginative. And very interestingly, the protagonist or the narrator of the story, as I told you, Kevin, comes in later as a character who is looking at it, but takes off the complete film from the seeming lead pair, Jimmy and Anumol, and tells you the story. I enjoyed every minute of this narrative. All the other characters in the, the seeming lead pair, Jimmy and Anumol, and tells you the story. I enjoyed every minute of this narrative. All the other characters in the film hardly have anything to do. It's very interesting that Mahesh Narayan deals with the theory of pleasure. And I'd like to compare this with Nagesh Kukunur's movie. Nagesh's problem was he was so convinced that the story had to be told and therefore, in its reality, had shown us such parts that really make you feel like puking. On the other hand, Narayan doesn't walk the whole distance. He deals with it very precisely in a very short format and has a good effect on you because he, the victim is central to the story and not pleasure. Interestingly, somewhere down when the cat is out of the bag and you come to know that the heroine is a victim to pleasure control, Kevin asks Jimmy, do you still love her? Normally our, hero, our heroes would say, of course I do. Of course my love is beyond all this. In very subtle difference. Jimmy refuses even to answer the question. And he says, she used me. Later on, Kevin says, but to get out of flesh true, and she after all used only your money. I'm not going to tell you how the film ends. I'll leave you guessing. But like Bandish Bandits, which I strongly recommend, this is yet again a Malayalam film that shows how you can make good cinema in mainstream cinema. See you soon ends too soon for my liking, but it ends ideally. It doesn't quantify, it doesn't tell you messages. It deals with three simple human beings. One of them very unfortunately caught in a real cobweb of international sex trading, how she fights it, is not very cinematic, but is not very dramatic, but very compelling. It's a nice movie. It makes a good viewing. It is very craftily told. There is craft. There is art. There is honesty in art. I think one brilliant performance from Fahad Fasil, who plays Kevin, while Roshan Matthew and Darshana Rajendran in the lead pair 
do their job authentically, all kudos in Tofa's the acting must go to Fahad Hassan. But the hero of the film is the director. Mahesh Narayan, thanks for giving us such a nice, crisp movie. Hope to see you soon making another one. All of you very soon. See, see you soon. Bye-bye.